Welcome to the Na Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mac tutorials. Production, still going on it. All right, so uh, we did touch on a topic before and actually got a, a question in the comments regarding the statuses of um, production order. So if I could just Google here or um, actually search uh, production orders. Um, I get all types of production orders. So there are several. <clears throat> so as you can see here, we have simulated, which is sort of the first one. Sim and I'm going to explain this, just kind of rattle it off. Simulated basically means that you can create a production order that has no effect on the demand and supply of the system. You're basically just testing it out. So this is great. Like, let's say, for example, you want to know how much uh, material requirement goes into making a thousand of the finished grid? How long will it take potentially? Uh, uh, how will it cost? How much will it cost? So you can play around with production orders in the simulated area, and it doesn't really have an effect on the system. And then we have something called planned production orders and firm planned production orders. So there's a difference between the difference between those. Uh, the planned ones, basically what that means is uh, we know that we have to make this, uh, but we, we're kind of unsure about the exact time. Uh, we can move it around a little bit. So it's, it's uh, the demand, it's going to fulfill a demand, and obviously it has to be done by a certain day, but it could be done uh, or started much earlier than the due date, for example. So it can be moved around. Firm planned means that we know that we need to do this. We have fixed the date to do it and time. However, it hasn't started yet. So it's just sitting out there uh, and we haven't basically released it to the floor. <clears throat> and then finally, or almost finally, we have released production orders. So those I've been playing around with most. Released production orders basically are the production orders we have released to the floor and it's okay to start so uh, so basically those are the ones we are acting upon and if you don't want to do statuses you know you just don't care about them uh, just go straight into released just create released production orders and stick with released and everything is released so that's kind of the simplification if you want to take off the status kind of level uh, and finally we have finished finished means we're done. There's no more posting happening on the production order. Uh, it's finished. Uh, we've outputted everything we want to output, consumed everything we want to consume, uh, and that's it. So it's, uh, you know, these are pretty important. So if I, for example, go into plant, I create a new one here, just hit enter. Uh, <clears throat> and we just keep going with uh, the ground coffee, Let's see right here and we're gonna do uh 500 like so and refresh it so you can see that plan production order works exactly like release production order however uh we're not going to start working on it right now so you can actually see it here that i can't get into my production journal so i can calculate everything but there is no production journal because I can't start posting towards this. This is not released yet. So it's just sitting there. Uh, starting time, uh, the ending time is going to be four or six right, and then start. Uh, and this might change. And so that's it. So let's say, for example, we want to now upgrade this to a firm plan. Let's say we're now actually sure we want to do this. We can change status right here. And we can move it to firm plant, which means that now this time is for sure. We're definitely going to do it at that time. Or we can go straight into release, just release it to the floor. So similarly, we can do this with firm plant. We can move them to released. Uh, and then we can move released to finished when we're done. Uh, and, and that basically is 
in essence how it works. Now if I go into the simulated, you notice I didn't have any options for the simulated. I go to simulated production orders uh, and just create a new one. So this will have no effect on the system. So again, if I just pick up my ground coffee here uh, and do 500, just do a refresh. Yes, it does the calculation for me, uh, but it's just not going to go into, for example, like now, if this was a firm plant, plant or released, the system would notice that there are 500 coming. And now in the supply demand calculations, it will expect 500. Since this is a simulated order, it will not. You won't get anything. It will just hang out there for just, just uh, demo purposes, so to speak. Uh, and now an interesting one, if I go here and say change status, I could actually push this into a firm plant, uh, which is interesting. Uh, so if I simulate order, I just like it, it's fine. I can get it going. I can't put it into um, plant, which is odd. Anyways, it would, would be, I don't know why Microsoft wouldn't put that there, but it's not. So anyways, um, so these, this was on the uh, different statuses of production order. Uh, you can just see that they're kind of classifications and you can just move them into each, you know, each other bu bucket and push them along uh, until they get into released and then into finished and you're done. Um, so that's pretty much in essence how it works. Uh, I hope you got something out of this. Until next time, take care.